five, four. It's Tuesday. It's September 26th, and QAC TV is live. I'm your host, Renee Carter, and with me as always. What are you talking about, Bruce? I'm just reading the cards. <laughs> there are no lines. Yeah, I know. Anyway, so I'm Bruce Grove. I'm here with Renee Carter, and we're here with Hannah, the intern. And we want to welcome you to our studio. And we've been practicing for a couple of months now on going live. And now it's the real deal. We practice with Jeff Strait. We practice with Hannah and, and Renee. But now it's time for us to really dig in. So today, we have some events that we want to talk to you with Renee. We actually have an Artisans Festival interview we want to show. We want to talk about an Asgardian holiday aficionado by the name of Thor. And we just want to get to know you. So. Contact us. We're following live. Hannah's going to be monitoring the computer. So if you have any comments for us, if you want to talk about the events we're talking about, if you want to share what your favorite QAC TV video is, just tell us where you're watching from. If you're in Ken Island, maybe you're in Australia. Like, maybe you actually know Ted McNeil. Or maybe you just want to tell us what your favorite cookie is. Ah, uh, everybody likes chocolate chip. True. I think I'm going to go with macadamia nut. What about you, Hannah? Chocolate chip. You would. <laughs> All right, so Renee has herself comfy. She's sitting in her lovely little chair over here, and she has tons of events that she wants to talk to you about. So maybe you have kids that you want to find something to do with this week. Maybe you just want to get out in the community, or maybe you're an adult that just wants to escape the grind. So, Renee, tell us what's going on this week. Well, I'll tell you what, we've got an important day today. Today we have National Register to Vote Day, and that's very important. How about you, Anna? Have you registered? Not yet. All right. Well, today's the day. You can get it done today. Uh, Amanda Leaguer commented that she's outside right now. Like, are you literally outside our doors, Amanda? Because if you are, we're not letting you in. We're live! We can't answer the door! <laughs> Amanda's funny, isn't she? <laughs> She's something. Yeah. I tell you what, on Thursday, September 28th, we might want to grab Amanda and take her down to Ken Island to Trivia at Ram's Head. That is a lot of fun. We got all of those questions right, didn't we, Bruce? I mean, I'm pretty sure we nailed at least 100 <laughs> of 100 questions right on the head. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> also, on that same Thursday, and that's September 28th, um, we have the Ken Islands Farmer's Market. That's always fun. You can find great things there. And there will be the Healthy Living with Hypertension classes at Ken Island and Graysonville. So check out the websites. Saturday, September 30th, Centerville Library, Senior Yoga. Yeah. Also, they're having a book signing, and that's from 1 to 3 with Rebecca Colburn. Ken Island Library will have rock painting. Have you ever painted a rock? Heck yeah, I painted a rock. We painted a rock <laughs> with, with Carla Horton. Dragonfly Fitness. Oh. QAC TV rock. What about you, Hannah? It's a of young course. thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, We're young. Oh. Yeah. We just skip rocks. We ain't paint them. <laughs> we just kick them around. That's right. There's also Out of the Darkness Walk. And Bruce, you did a piece on that, didn't you? I did. The Out of the Darkness Walk is this Saturday. September 30th, it's very, very important, It's to help fight suicide. So it's suicide prevention at its greatest, the community gets together. It's, it's more than just suicide though, it's actually a whole event. So bring kids out, there's rock painting, rock painting, there's face painting, there's a whole bunch of fun to be had. Bring food so you can join the picnic, take a walk around the Heritage Center, which is where it's hosted, and have a great day. I'll be there with the camera, QAC TV will be there to, to film, so come, say hi to me, Talk to us. It's a great event. Please come Saturday, September 30th. Walk out of darkness. Dark. Darkness. <laughs> That's my accent. That's right. We like that accent. We'll take that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. October 2nd, we have Creepy Crawler Preschool with Seabeck. This deals with bugs. That is totally, totally out of my range. But I heard it's a lot of fun. So bring those little ones out. <laughs> Sounds great. Remember, we are live. Leave us some comments. Tell us where you're watching from. 
Tell us what your favorite QAC video is. Anything. We'd love to hear from you. Yeah, we already got messages from Ryan Pryor. What's up, Ryan? <laughs> he says he's in Severna Park. He lives in Ridgely. Hopefully, you're coming to Queens County this, this weekend to have fun. <laughs> and Nancy Faulkner wants us to stop picking on little baby Mandy. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mandy. I'm so sorry. <laughs> you know, I love you, girl. So, I want to take a little bit of time to spotlight a business that's very, very special to me. And that's Carol Ibex and Foundations Island Yoga. They're celebrating this one year anniversary. Obviously, this is special to me because it was one of my first segments I filmed for QAC TV almost six months ago. They're celebrating this Sunday with free yoga, samples of kombucha, and ID Life, which I tried there when I got to film. They're all amazing, so go there and try it yourselves. They're having a huge sale on all merchandise. So go out there this Sunday, it's October 1st, you can meet Carol, you can do some yoga, you can get your breathe on, you can get your bend on, and you can find your inner yogi for free. So you can't beat that. But last of all, we have to do a little bit of house cleaning, and that's introducing, officially, Hannah the Intern. And you've got to see Hannah the past couple of months here and there. We also have, behind the camera, our brand new intern, Mitch. We try not to let him on camera, though. We're just kidding, Mitch. We'll put you on camera. So anyway, we had a couple of months to, to meet Hannah and get her out and get her involved, and we really wanted to teach Hannah what it was like to create her own show. So we gave her a mic, we gave her a platform, and we gave her an Asgardian. How was that, Hannah? So I got to meet Thor, who, by the way, was smaller in person than you would think. And I discovered that Thor really loves holidays. So I gave him a chance to talk about some. Little did I know, he would talk about all of them. Couldn't shut Thor up, huh? Never. <laughs> <laughs> so it's the end of September, and the there was only one holiday that Thor wanted to talk about. Take it away, Thor. Finally, happy Oktoberfest. All the gods shall be praised. Watch out, thy mortals. Thor is in your town and desires mead. Oktoberfest. It makes sense, I guess. Anyway, Hannah is a student at Chesapeake College, and we thought it was time to give her her own show. Take it away, Hannah. Thanks. So because I am a student at Chesapeake College, I thought it'd be a great time to introduce some of the college events into the community. So since Mandy has Around Town with Mandy, I thought I could learn some great tricks from her for my new show, The Campus Crawl with Hannah. So I tagged along with Mandy while she interviewed Robert Hardy about the Artisans Festival at the college. Now tell us, we are moving to a new location and partnering with Chesapeake College. That's correct. They want to reach out to the community and we want to bring this community event to Centerville and Queen Anne's County. So tell us a little bit about the Artisans Festival and some new things that are coming this year. Well, we'll be over 50 artisans inside the Health Professions Building and, and outside for some of the bigger artisans. We will have four excellent food trucks. So come hungry. Yes, Paul Gunther and his pit beef, Melvin Shorter's fried fish. We'll have a hot dog cart for all the kids at heart, ice cream, two wineries. Nice, nice. Yes, and then we're going to have DNR Scales and Tails. Um, YMCA will be here with uh, face painting, and then a whole slew of community organizations like Upper Shore Reading Council, Animal Welfare League. In fact, we're going to have the Judy Center and their Imagination Library program. Yeah, that's a good program they have at the library. Yes, that's uh, to sign up young kids from zero to six to get a free book a month. Yes. So we're going to have a lot for everybody and hopefully the weather will be beautiful as today. Sounds good. Now the dates of the Artisans Festival are Saturday, October the 7th from 10 to 5 and Sunday, October the 8th from 11 to 4. Mandy's always great. It's great to hear from her. She's out in the field, but magically somehow after being out in the field, she's actually sitting right behind the glass. Everyone say hi to Mandy. She made it inside. So the Artists Festival should be a lot of fun. It's a great event. You can go there, there's tons of vendors, there'll be lots of food, there's wood cutting and, and, and crafts and art. So many great things. And I believe even the peak players will be there, right Hannah? Yep, 
the peak players will be dressed up and performing skits, and then walking around in character for everyone's enjoyment. I miss college. I miss the peak players. That's actually where I started. That's how I got my, my theatrics. Those are the ones that taught me. And now Dr. Rob Thompson is there. He's doing so many great things for the community and that area. It's just, it's great to see what he's doing there. Carrie's actually coming up. Yes, it is. I believe we're actually going after the live shoot to cover Carrie, right? That's right. The first edition of Campus Crawl. So we can look forward to that with Hannah. So that's it. That's live, folks. That's our show. We want to thank you so much for watching. We appreciate it. all your views, all your comments. Please keep talking. And we have, we have people talking about they want more Mandy. Nancy says, tell them, Ted. We always have more Mandy. There's always more Mandy to be had. We'll keep bringing her on. We'll bring her live next time, maybe. So thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, watch all of our videos on Facebook and YouTube. And we'll thank you. So come out again, sailors.